Hi everyone, this video is going to be an introduction to the TCL TK scripting interface in VMD. Actually, everything we have been doing so far in this course, we did it use it a graphical user interface. But fortunately, VMD provide a scripting user interface for more complicated analysis using TCL and Python scripts. And before we go on, I know that the word scripts or scripting sound somehow scary for the people who are coming from pure experimental background or who have no experience with computer science. Actually, the, the word script means a file that composed of multiple commands. And command on computer science means an order you give to your computer, to your machine to, to, to perform so later on, you, you are going to perform a complicated analysis that require many, many comments. So you don't have to write the comments one by one. So you combine them into one file and we call it a script, like a scenario for the computer to perform command one, command two, print the result, and do a lot of stuff. So, and also it's worth mentioning that um, to use scripts in VMD, you don't have to be a professional. I know being a professional is great, but at least in the beginning, you are going to use already ready scripts prepared by other experts. You, you just need to modify it or use it directly. But in this video, I want to, to give you a short introduction of the basic comments that you can use in the TCL uh, or the TK, TK console of VMD. So, if we open VMD and go to extensions, TK console, and here is the scripting user interface. So let's start with the first command. It's very simple. We call it PWD, print working directory. The working directory in computer science is the place that contains your files right now. And if you want to import file to save file, it will be in this location. So let's check it. It is in C program files and university villains VMD. And this is the default working directory assigned by VMD. So if I want to change my directory, there's another simple command which is called cd change directory. And I want to get up to the D partition, so I say CD two dots, it takes you one step back. So let's check the print to the working directory again. Here I'm getting to step back to universe of aliens. Let's do it again and print file program files again and print I'm in C. So let's go to D, CD, D. And here is my file called mo. Inside it, there is the TCL tutorial file. Okay. So if you print your working directory again, bwd, here is d, mo, and tcl. The second command, which is common in Linux users, so it's called ls. LS, it lists the files in your working directory. So if you say LS and enter, I have only one file, btl2.pdb. So let's go to the basic commands in VMD. And the first one is set. Set is a command used to set a value of a variable. For example, let's say set x equal 10 and press enter so i have 10 and there's another very simple command called puts the value of x so it's 10 so when you you hit dollar sign with x sorry when you had dollar signs with with x it gives you it print you the value of of the of the variable x also you can set text not only variable if you say set text hey vmd 
and hit enter and it will print you out hey vmd also you can combine the variables with text so you can say puts for example the value of x is the value of x which is 10 full stop and quotation so the value of x is is 10 also vmd can perform some mathematical operation using the expression command if you say expression 3 minus 8 for example it will perform this mathematical operation and give you minus 5 can do some mathematical operations on the stored variables now we stored x as 10 so let's say x expression 3 multiplied by the value of x which was 10 so we expect it to be 30 you see and you can do also beyond setting the variables or printing out the, the value of, of a variable you remember we loaded a new molecule pdb or dcd into your file so also you can do it very easily using the scripter interface so if you say molecule i need, I need a new molecule and i say btl2 dot pdb and here i got my molecule simply okay and here is come the importance of the ls command to remember which files do you have in your working directory also as a beginner to scripting if you say mol new and write bt just press tab and it will predict the name of the of the of the file automatically so to sum up everything again you can use the command set to set a value for a variable y let's say set y equal 5 you can put the results or print the value of something or of, of variable using the puts and the dollar sign then your variable and you can perform mathematical operation with the expression command expression x plus y sorry you, we did a mistake here and it's good to make mistakes to show you expression you have to say value of x plus the value of y x plus 10 and y is 5 so we are expecting the results to be 15 yes it worked and the last one is mol new btl2 let's press tab no, no need to write everything yes give it to me and we loaded a new file again actually as a beginner who has no experience in, in scripting to perform analysis of your simulated system of your structure you don't have to write a script from scratch there are so many scripts that can calculate different stuff like RMSF or hydrogen bonds, etc. Whatever are already written. You can either use them directly or modify them. And start learn Python, learn advanced stuff and scripting here. Go to TCL programming and learn more. And by time you will get used to scripting. And in the next videos, we will learn how to calculate RMSF using already prepared script by VMD experts. So no need to prepare a new script. We will just get the script of RMSF, adjust it to our trajectory and import it to the TK console here and save output in file and plot and you will get your results. And that's it. Let me know if there is any mistakes or if you have any comments of or any corrections. And I hope this is going to be very good for anyone who is beginner. I know that we are going very, very slowly and some stuff are very simple. And I got some uh, messages says you can do this in this way. You are so slow, but this course is designed for dummies, for 
someone who's just shifting from a wet lab to dry lab who wanted to know from scratch. So anyone who's experienced in computer science or computational chemistry, if he reads the tutorial, will be in no need for such videos. So that's it, and see you in the next video. Stay tuned for how to calculate an RMSF for the first time using a script. That's it, see you.